Hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this tutorial video. Uh, this is a tutorial I am making for Go players to teach them how to use OBS and basically tell them how I use it. From here, I'm assuming that you have OBS downloaded, it's set up and you can technically go live, but you don't know what to do from here. So in my setup, uh, one one key thing is uh, I really encourage like a webcam or uh, a character. I know there's a lot of VTubers out there that have characters, but I really encourage something that shows hey this is me rather than just a uh, display capture so I think having a webcam would be very nice if you don't I mean you can still do it it's okay in order to have the light on my face I do have a ring light right behind my desk hanging on my wall uh, so that is one of the things that I think is useful uh, you can get pretty cheap ones um, this one I got is probably like $25 but I've seen some for like $5 <clears throat> um, microphone is something you want to get eventually you don't have to have a high quality mic um, any sort of decent mic even a, even the webcam mic will be decent it'll be fine but when you get the budget for it i think a hundred dollar mic will be uh ideal so that's just my equipment and then as for my other setup i have two monitors so this one's my main monitor so depending on where my second monitor is i keep my uh obs on my second monitor is where i'm going to move this chat to so i can actually grab this chat window and put it anywhere so i usually put it on the right or the left depending on where obs is is. so right now it's on the right so if my OBS is on the left then on the very right of that so I'm just looking right here uh, is gonna be the chat rather than me looking all the way over there for chat before I mention that I actually want to go up here to profile this is something that I think will be very useful because that way if you change computers or if you want to make different profiles for different games I think this would be very nice so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click new and we're gonna do a tutorial profile um, and now we're gonna go through uh, OBS's optimization stuff so I'm just gonna click next because I don't really care all right so we are on tutorial uh, so you can see I can click Clausius and then click tutorial so tutorial actually uh, copied all my stuff um, so what I'm gonna do is on tutorial I'm just going to make a new scene because I think a lot of you uh, will not have the scene so this is we're just gonna start from this so here we'll have our scenes the first thing we're gonna do is have our live scene so this is where we're gonna set up our main scene but eventually we'll go we're gonna get a starting soon um, um, we're gonna get a be right back and then we're gonna get a stream ending so this is gonna be our live scene so we'll call this uh, we'll rename this to tutorial uh, live you can also you can be like tutorial game whatever whatever works for you um, and from there the first thing I'm gonna do is add my webcam which I already have so I'm gonna I have to use this because you cannot have your webcam going to multiple uh, sources you can only have it one source if you want two sources then you will need two webcams uh, additionally if any other program is using this webcam like zoom or Skype or anything like that uh, it OBS and that other program are gonna fight for who gets the webcam and the webcam can only go to the one of those at a time okay so now we have our source so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, let's see this one's already got the filters on it um, so let me go ahead and walk you through that so the first thing I would do is go in here let me turn all that off so you can see here's our filter so the first thing I did was crop it down to zoom on me uh, you can see I do have a green screen thing attached to my chair um, which I got that I found a, a nice deal on that for eight dollars uh, you don't need a green screen I think it's perfectly fine um, you just kind of want like a clean background which i've had dirty backgrounds too so uh you just you just want it to look as nice as you can uh so here i already have the chroma key like that uh you can see there's a little bit of light but when you have a background it looks a little bit better um so i'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that so it's not distracting okay so now i have my webcam cropped uh what i like to do is just put it to the side until i figure out what i want to do with it um so now we have a source and that's pretty much how you add sources is this little plus right here you can take away a source with the remove and then once you have it in a position you can go ahead and lock that source so you can't grab it or move it then coming over here uh, so in here you can see I have a desktop audio source and a mic already so I actually want to hide that uh, the reason is I don't like having those showing because I want to have a source for all of my stuff uh, this gives me a little bit more understanding of which one's which and the reason is if I unhide this this desktop audio let's say I have it unmuted 
or even my mic unmuted, uh, then these actually go through all of my scenes. So if I change to the Be Right Back scene, my desktop audio and my mic audio will still be captured until I hide these two, or until I mute these two. So I like to hide these two because I don't want to use those. I like to have um, an audio source in my scene. So in this case, I'll do an audio input capture. Uh, we'll do a new one. Um, and then this is going to pick my microphone and then here's my audio input capture so you can see here i have it but if i go let's do uh let's do tutorial uh starting soon okay now you can see the tutorial starting soon. I do not have any audio in here, but if I unhide, you can see that they were still there. So if those were unmuted, uh, or sorry, unhidden, then you would still have those on when, like, say, say you go to be right back, then they would still be able to, the stream would still be able to hear you. And uh, it's, it's annoying when you forget about it, so <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Okay, so you can see that this actually peaks right here. So this is one thing that I've seen a lot of people uh, just go live um, and they don't have any filters on this. So I am not a noise or microphone expert. I barely even know what to put on it, much less understand how it all works. But you do need filters. So in this, I'm going to go to filters and I'm gonna start adding filters. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a gain. Um, this is what a lot of people are lacking. So you can see mine is actually pretty good. Uh, so I actually need to go down a bit because I think the ideal range, I don't quote me on this, but it's just something I heard in a video was like negative three. So this is negative five, this is negative 10. Negative three is just barely in the red. So I'm gonna go down maybe, uh, let's do negative three here. Um, and now you can see it's uh, peaking a little bit in there, but that looks a little bit better of a range. Okay, so if you were quieter, let's say like you're way down here, which I think a lot of people are much, much quieter. If you're too quiet, then you would just raise that up until you get to that range there. Um, so I think that's what a lot of streamers, I, I think I helped a couple people out on stream uh, raise their gain. So the next thing you wanna do, which I think is very, very important, which is noise suppression. This, uh, if, you're, if your computer is right next to your microphone or even like close to your microphone, your microphone will likely pick up uh, the computer fan or any ceiling fan or anything that's moving in the background that maybe you're you're just drowning out naturally that microphone's going to pick up and it'll be very obvious when you actually listen to it in your microphone so just basically noise suppression um they used to have settings but right now just the default uh works pretty well uh from there we want to get a uh, compressor and i believe this one we just don't touch and then the last one is going to be a limiter and uh on the limiter we want this to just be uh, negative three, according to a tutorial I watched. I have no idea what that stuff does, okay? I have no idea what it does, <laughs> but it makes it sound a lot better. In my environment, if you guys watch my stream, I also have my wife right behind me. In order to reduce that, let's say you have people walking by or something, uh, one thing that I uh, we put on is a, a noise gate. <laughs> Um, and we played with these two numbers. So basically I moved this over until it couldn't pick me up anymore. And then I moved it slightly back, slightly back, slightly back until it picked me up. Uh, then move it just slightly back, just a little bit more. If you're moving it only to the exact spot, like, uh, like right here, then as soon as I move like over here or look away from the microphone, you see how it's not picking me up. So that is, uh, that is why I lower it just a couple more. And then this one, I kind of keep it close. Uh, you don't need let me clarify you don't need this you don't need this i only do this if i have uh i only do this because my wife's in the background and there's talking and we're both talking at the same time so this eliminates most of the talking uh, like 90 percent but she still gets picked up every now and then so ideally you want to be in an environment where people are not talking noise suppression should be plenty for i think 90 percent of streamers noise gate is if you just need that extra buffer because there's a lot of background noise uh if you don't need this don't use it so now we have the audio input capture and uh, this one I like uh, a lot better because now if I mute it, I'm muted on live versus I don't mute it. Um, and I don't even have to worry about it. So now when I transition to starting soon, uh, you can see it, it is no longer there. So my live picks up my microphone. My starting soon does not. And you could even rename this. Well, we can rename this to uh, uh, live uh, scene mic. So these are the two important ones. So I think next what we're going to do is get into the ghost stuff. 
So let's go to onlinego.com. So this is a little trick that I do. So it actually picks it up um, practically automatically. So what I do is I go to my profile and open up a finished game. Um, so now that I have a finished game, what I'm gonna do is go back to OBS and I'm gonna do a window capture. So I'm gonna do plus and I'm gonna do a window capture. Uh, and I'm gonna call this uh, tutorial Gobon. Okay, and now I'm going to find a uh, game finished from Google Chrome. And um, my capture method is going to be automatic. Uh, and then what I wanna do is match titles, otherwise find window of same type. So what this does is it's going to look for uh, Google Chrome and it's gonna look for a title that is very similar to this one. In other words, onlinego.com slash game slash whatever. So as long as you uh, open a game, this should be captured automatically otherwise you can just manually select it by going click here window and do that each time i have to do that for kgs uh because kgs unfortunately just is not very easy to just capture uh so i do have to do this for kgs uh but uh for ogs i just have it automatically capture all right now this is the gobon so i'm going to add a filter so i'm going to right click add filter and i'm going to do plus and i'm going to do crop um now a lot of people might say why don't i use alt and hold it uh that is because if i want to use this gobon on any other scene like let's say i want a different scene or a standby scene or intermission scene but i still want to show the gobon then i can reuse it and the crop will be saved so if you use alt and drag to crop uh that does not transition between scenes so i prefer this way but the alt one also works if you know what that is uh so here <clears throat> what we're going to do is just crop so i'm going to type in something relative uh let's see 400 and then bottom let's do 50 okay so bottom looks good right just needs a little bit more so what i do is once i get it close i'm going to use i'm going to click in here and use my mouse scroll wheel you can also go up and down if you don't have a scroll wheel. so i'm just going to move it until it's right on the edge of that uh top right on the edge of that and then this one i have to give it a little bit more all right and there's my gobon and that's looking pretty good so i want the gobon to be unlocked and i want this to be as big as possible i think a lot of people gave feedback that they want the go board to be as big as possible so I can either center it, I can move it to the right, to the left, whatever I want. Um, and a trick to get it centered is if I right click this object, you can also go down here and right click, go to transform and you can actually uh, center to screen. Uh, and there it is, it's centered. If you wanted to move it uh, like very, very little, you also go can go into transform, click edit transform, and you can now move the position uh, and basically micromanage the position. So that way if your mouse is just moving it too fast too far and you want it to be like right on the edge of something this is how you would do it you would just scroll this position up and down you could also uh squeeze an image so it, this might be cropped so let's do uh this is 1008 so let's remember that number 500 if i wanted to crop the image for whatever reason um which i had to have to do for like player borders webcam borders stuff like that you can do that with the size here so here now you can see that my go button is actually overlaying my webcam i actually want my webcam to be pretty high up um, just to make sure it's above things uh, but you can see my webcam is overlapping so what I might do is go into my uh, transform here edit transform and let's move this a little to the left and it looks like we're good I could uh, crop it a little bit more or reduce the size a little bit more but be careful with the webcam if you adjust these too much with the webcam your face is gonna look all kind of wonky if it's uh, if it's locked and you go into transform and edit transform a lot of times this will be hidden uh, which is it's strange that it's not hidden here but a lot of times this will be hidden uh if it's hidden then that means your uh source is locked so you just need to unlock the transform and then go back into transform and you can move it uh next up we want the players uh so what we're going to do is just go to another window capture and pretty much do the exact same thing so this is going to be tutorial uh players cool trick here is if you want to capture each player individually you just make a window capture for each one and just crop it to the player and then you can have maybe a player on the left player on the right of the good board the smaller it gets though you do want to be careful of this the smaller it gets uh the harder it is to read and on cell phone this wouldn't even be legible so if someone's watching your stream on a cell phone they wouldn't be able to read the ranks and they might have to ask you so if that happens then you want to make them bigger to make them a little bit more readable so in this case for this scene if i wanted to move the go button or i wanted to have the go button in the center perhaps i would put black on the left or white on the right uh or black on the left and white right below it um in order just to make it look a little bit better but for 
now we're just going to shrink this uh, and leave it right there. All right, so now we have our Gobon and our players, um, and you could also have Gobon, black player, white player, and that's fine. So next, what we're going to do is click plus, and we're actually going to create a group. Uh, and so this I'm going to call tutorial OGS group. Okay, um, so in this case, I'm going to put my players in there and my Gobon in there. Uh, and then I can just lower that to keep this a little bit clean. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. So that way, even if I unlock these by accident, I can't really move anything because the folder itself is locked. So now you have to unlock the folder and unlock the players. Uh, so what this does, the reason this is good is because for go bottom players, now all I have to do is toggle that off and it hides all of my OGS stuff. And then I could toggle KGS on or Fox or whatever, um, whatever server I'm playing on, I could just already have those preset up and then just hide or show the folder. I think uh, we'd probably want a background, so okay, and we're just going to uh, save the image and we're gonna save it in there. Let's go back in here and we're gonna click plus and we're going to add an image. Um, and you wanna, this is where it takes a little bit of art skills. You wanna find something that uh, blends well and is smooth in the background. It doesn't look uh, horrible, which I'm really bad at. There it is. Okay, we're gonna click open click OK. And now what I'm going to do is right click this, I'm going to click transform and I'm going to click stretch to screen. This will make it go all the way to all the corners. And I'm going to lock that and take my background and move it all the way to the bottom. Now you can see this is what it looks like. And if you're artistic, then you can make it uh, make a better background and blah, blah, blah. Actually, before you go live, I really, 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 really want you to get an alert box. If someone follows you and you don't have an alert box, then you're not going to know very easily. To do that, we're going to go to this and we're going to go to stream elements is the one I use. There's many programs that do this, but stream elements is the one I use. It's uh, all done in the browser, so it's pretty easy. So I have a lot of overlays. So what I'm gonna do is just create a new overlay, but there's actually overlays galleries that already have pre-setups. So let's actually let's actually just do one of these. This will be the easiest. Let's do uh, purple void. Uh, let's click on that. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty decent. So I'm going to create my overlay and just go to my overlays. So now I have the purple voids. So this will actually be pretty easy. So uh, for each of these, uh, we can use these for each scene. So the starting scene of the Be Right Back are the two ones that I definitely want. Uh, but let's go over to the Purple Void uh, animated blah, 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 because that one is just for the webcam. And if you want just a webcam scene, there, there you go. This one is more for the game, so I'm gonna click Edit. Now, this is more meant for video games. So you can see it actually has a lot of stuff like, uh, not really a background or anything um, in this specific one. Uh, some of them do have backgrounds though. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I don't want every single thing in here. Um, to, does give you objects to work for so or work with. Uh, so this one is actually hidden, but uh, basically if you didn't want your name into it, you could use this one or you can just turn off the webcams uh, frame. This is a webcam frame. You can turn off that entirely if you would like, uh, but let's go ahead and leave it at this. So what I'm gonna do is move this to the left because my go board is gonna be in the center and I actually want to move that that up so I'm gonna click that and go over here see what's highlighted so you can see the cam 19 frame is highlighted so I'm gonna click that and then go to the settings and we're gonna go or I'm gonna go to the position and size sorry uh, we're going to move uh, the top uh, 895 and that moves it down so I'm gonna go to 890 okay so now I'm gonna click this so this one I'm gonna move as well uh, this I'm going to just move that way uh, then this this one, we're just gonna move. Uh, you can see it tries to clip to the edges. So this one I want to move down just a little bit. All right, so now I have my webcam thing. Uh, I could easily make it bigger if I wanted to. Um, so we're gonna leave it at that. Up here, all you have to do is just click this, uh, go to layers, and you can hide each of these things if you would like. Uh, so for example, if you don't have uh, cheers, if you're not affiliate yet, or subscribers, probably just wanna hide those for now. Uh, we can set up donations here if you want. So you can have that going, or you can just hide that as well and hide the entire thing and just have your recent follower uh, and that would be fine as well over here you could have an information panel so I'm gonna go ahead and hide this so this tip goal I don't really need so I'm going to hide that so all of that's hidden now all right so I'm gonna click save now and so now we have it set up and this actually is a default alert box so to show what this is we can actually go down here to emulate uh, and let's emulate or do a fake follower event and now you can see that it's actually set up. 
Uh, you can edit this, uh, but this is already set up by default for you and already hooked up and everything, so it's pretty nice. If you wanted to edit it, you could go in here and uh, go into settings and then enable or disable certain things. And you could also create your own if you go right here and go to plus. There's a lot of things you can create on your own, but for now, we're just gonna use the default. And right here, I'm gonna copy the overlay URL. So now I'm gonna click plus and I'm going to go to uh, browser. This is a browser source, background overlay. And so now I'm going to paste that. And now I'm going to also do the size that it was 1920 by 1080. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to move that down to here. And then now you can see my webcam. So actually, uh, once I have uh, this, I actually want to move my webcam right under it and then put the webcam in there. So I could uh, go here and I'm just gonna do a quick edit like that. Um, clearly, I would want this to be bigger because I have so much dead space right here and you wanna show off your face as much as possible. So this is already a pretty de decent scene, uh, though it looks ugly as crap. <laughs> Another thing that we could do is, so now I actually have alerts. So let me actually demonstrate that real quick. So here's the thing. Let's go to my overlay right here. Um, let's move that a bit. So I'm going to emulate a follower. And you can see there it is. One thing that we do need to be careful of here because I did make a slight mistake, which is this background overlay needs to be above the Gobon. Because if we leave it like this, do an alert, you can hear it, but you can't actually see it. Uh, and that's because it is below the Gobon. Cool trick for this is I actually have a separate thing for my alert because I want my background down here, but for this one, you could just simply move it up top uh, and now it will be, it will work. Um, but what I technically do is I have a different stream elements overlay for only alerts. So, and then I just put my alert box at the very top and you do want to keep your alerts always like at the top just to make sure it doesn't get buried and hidden because it's very important important for uh, interaction and stuff. Let's do background music. So let's uh, let's click plus right here and uh, I'm gonna do media source. Now what I did was, let's do tutorial media or tutorial background music. What I did was I actually downloaded a YouTube video and this is a little finicky to do. Um, so just be careful with what you're doing. But what I did is I went to YouTube and I went to uh, no copyright sound, so NCS gaming music. And I just found something that's supposed to have no copyright sound. And then I just clicked that. Then I downloaded it and had it on my computer, uh, use my media source to find the local file. And I clicked loop. So it'll restart. So if I stream longer than three hours, I don't have to worry about it reactivating. And then uh, I go to browse, go to my Clausius Twitch folder, because that's where I keep everything. Um, and here's, oh, here's the Christmas music I actually had for Christmas. So I'll just open that. And so now you can see it's actually uh, right, uh, right here, tutorial background music. So here I'm going to lower this to about right here. I think uh, this is a good spot, more or less. And now I'm gonna show you a little trick how to test all these audio things. So if we, uh, do this, uh, click on a thing right here and go to advanced audio properties. We can actually get to right here so we can hear what we're doing. Be careful about the ears for just a second. So what I'm going to do is click monitor and output and you'll need headphones for this. So you should hear an echo now. So I apologize if that hurts your ears, but you can hear that I am, uh, hearing myself. So what you would want to do is plug in headphones and do that. And you can hear uh, how good or bad you sound. Uh, so I, what I actually like to do myself personally is I like to go to the background music and I like to leave this on this. So you can actually hear the music now. So if you're in your headphones, I actually like to hear the music while I'm playing. So I would do that on both. If you're doing something like Spotify or something, you can do just a desktop capture and that's fine as well. So if you want to do that, I would just click plus and then I would do audio uh, output capture. And then you can see desktop audio source, desktop, desktop, blah, blah, blah. Just be, keep in mind that it will capture all of your audio. So it's not gonna just be Spotify. That could be a plus though, if you want to hear, if you want 
want the chat or the people watching the video to hear the audio sounds from your OGS and your Spotify and all the stuff that you're doing and like your game or whatever, that is, desktop audio is perfectly fine. But I just again, I prefer having the desktop audio as a source, not always open. Uh, that way, if I change to a be right back or something and I want to change something or change music or something, it's not going to uh, be heard right here uh, or on the be right back scene. This is important. Uh, your speakers are not going to give you an accurate representation of this uh, simply because you can turn up and down your speakers and so can your chat. But what you want to do is turn both your microphone and your speakers on at the same time coming out of your headphones and then make sure that your voice is easily overtaking the music because it's supposed to be background music. It's not supposed to overtake you. So let's go back to the starting soon scene. Um, what we do here, let's just go back to our overlays. And remember we had a starting soon already. So let's go ahead and just edit that. Um, and then here we can actually just uh, copy overlay URL and just pretty much take it straight in. Probably you can hide the timer and then hide the tip goal, hide that and then hide whatever you want. But I'm not gonna do that again. So I'm just gonna take that, go back to here, click plus and click on um, browser uh we'll do that and then boot a boom and then again readjust the width so 19 uh 1920 by 1080 and just lock it and there you go now the cool thing about this one it already has a chat built in well actually let's go here so we're gonna go test in the chat and it should pop up right here there it is um so you can see the test is actually really small so i, I would want to fix that because that's way too small uh so i could just go back in here click on the uh, stream chat object click on that and then go to settings uh, Looks like uh, we'll go to text settings actually uh, So I like to just go to 24 um, that looks a lot more readable um, But the cool thing about this is the chat is already built in so when I do this make sure you click save and then go back to here And then you can see that it disappeared. So it does reset. So let's go to test. There we go That looks a lot better. There is a small delay, which I think the delay is built in so you can actually turn that off uh, In the settings at some point. Let's Let's see, yeah, message is delayed by two seconds. So you can just turn that down to zero. But let's go back and let's say we wanna make our own chat. So here we, we'll get to make our own thing. So I'm gonna to go to new overlay. That's that's just what I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm gonna start and you can see my overlay resolution 1080p. Okay, and I'm gonna add a widget, stream tool, stream chat. There we go. And now I have my chat and I can do with this what I want. Um, so I can do my text settings. So I'm gonna go back to here and go to 20, uh, 24. Um, I'm gonna pick a font. Let's see if they have Roboto and click on test. And it should already be hooked up. Yep, test, and that looks pretty good. Uh, probably can make this a little bit better, uh, bigger. So we'll do width, we'll do, let's say 300. Yeah, that looks a uh, nice little proportions. Um, and then from there, uh, looks like we already had a background. So we have theme, dark chat, uh, Turkish chat, and custom. Yeah, so I did custom. You could also go like white and dark and just leave it at that if you want. I did custom and then what I did was I added another layer. So in, right here in the layers, I clicked plus static image uh, image. And with this image, what I did was I had to adjust it to be the same size as this. So this is 300 by 400 pixels. So I go in here, go to position size. So this is gonna be 300 by 400. So now it's the exact same size. I had to go and find an image. Uh, so if I wanted to do custom colors, what I did was go to sketch Dot io this is a free website that i use to do a lot of quick uh image edits and then let's see this is 300 by 400 so i'm going to go in here click uh, plus 300 by 400 and i always click transparent just just so i can start with a transparent and then i can do a vector fill and whatever i want it to be so this is some sort of purple so let's make it like that uh, maybe a little bit darker click that and then go here down here export and we're going to export it as a png and uh, now we're going to set image and click upload right here I'm going to drag that in and click upload and then now that it's uploaded we're going to submit uh select that and then back into the layers we're going to go here go back under it uh and you can see that's what it looks like now the cool thing with the image is i can go here into the position and size and you can see the opacity i like to set that around 70 or 80 so i'm going to go to 70 here uh let's save this is not going to look very good but you want to play with the colors the text font um the text color the size of everything but this is just a quick preview um i am not a very good artist i have my wife help me with all this <laughs> 
<laughs> so if my stream looks good it's not because of me all right so i'm gonna go back here go to my live and now i'm gonna click on plus and click a browser again and we're gonna do tutorial chat then we're gonna go into here but boom and now even though like this is smaller because there's gaps and stuff uh you will still need to make sure this is wide enough to capture it so if it's with 800 it's going to start from this and go 800 pixels that way and then down 600 pixels so this might be big enough but uh if you want to but what i like to do is do uh, the same size of the screen but if you want to just make it easier to drag and drop let's do 1000 by 1000 uh, and that should capture it just fine and there it is there is your chat uh so we can make this bigger and adjust it how we see fit but you can see the red box is the size that i made it so if you want this red box to be smaller just go in here uh click on properties and then just lower it if you want to accept donations you will need to go here so since i'm offline i will have to click on chat to get to what everyone sees and when you scroll down you see i have all these panels so this is actually very easy if i just click on edit panels and yours will be empty but you click on right here you click plus and what you're going to do is just add an image. You add an image, drag and drop, and then you'll say what the image links to. And you can also add a description. So I'm going to remove that. Um, so you can see mine. I actually have my own custom images. I made these myself uh, on Sketch.io. Make them on Sketch. Or you can make them on uh, Canva.com. This is what I use for my YouTube thumbnails. This is GamingVisuals.com. Is uh, where I went to for emotes and uh, those little icons right there. This one I haven't bought. I just made these myself. But they do have these up here as well, uh, which is panel maker. And here you can actually make your own panels for free. Free Twitch, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to create our own panels. Uh, so you can see up here, we can actually buy other people's created stuff if you wanted to. So if you like cats right there, if you, or if you wanted to go for a purple theme, um, there's some purple stuff right there. Okay, so this one's zero dollars. <laughs> so this one's free and you can just use it and it's already built for you. So that's, that's nice. Uh, if you wanted to build your own though, you could come down here. Then we can go here, icon. You can, these are the social media icons. If you YouTube, Facebook, Discord, Twitch, um, donate donations donations so these are the built-in icons if you wanted a custom icon you could also do that well as well uh yeah so this is the icon that's already there by default so if you wanted to upload like your face you could do that as well with a custom icon and then adjust the position or the size and then position okay um so that is that moving on to my twitch dashboard uh so here we can actually manage stuff i actually like to keep this uh on the side so what i might do uh, what i've been doing is actually I'm um, moving this in a smaller window and then having my OBS. So on my second monitor, I'll have my OBS uh, like this. And then I'll have my window, something like this. Uh, and then down a little bit and so I'm gonna be reading my chat right here So I'm not really worried about the, this right this one I keep this small, but I also keep an eye on it Just make sure that my stream is live that shows that I'm live These are your recent events. So if someone followed you and you missed the alert you can see it right here you can also uh there's a lot of things you can add right here the basic is edit your stream info this will let you edit your title uh, live notification your category so if you want to change it on the fly you can do that then we also have uh this clip button i can't do it offline but there's a clip there's add a marker so if you wanted to edit your your uh videos like after you've streamed that your vods to get saved for i think uh 14 days you could add a marker and then when you go to edit the vods to highlight them or cut out certain portions you can have markers already there letting you know so if you have something funny happen or if you have certain events happen just add a marker and you can very easily edit film uh, in the video editor over here in content and here is a big one manage goals so this is what I do on mine this is not customizable at the current moment uh, but twitch might update this in the future so here I'm going to start a new goal because I've already reached that one so I'm going to do uh, total subs and I'm going to edit that and make it 55 I like to go five at a time I think it's nice for those who are not affiliate you should have a follower goal keep in mind that you can also make these goals on stream elements but this is the one that's built in and will update immediately because it's in twitch's system uh, and this is going to i'm just going to start that goal and then i'm going to, you would copy that uh, you can see it actually pops up in chat too which is really nice you can also copy that url this is going to be another browser so if i go back in obs plus and we're going to do browser and this is actually customizable as well so i'm going to do this um 
and you can see it'll already be right there. It takes up the full screen. So what you wanna do is go into properties and adjust the width and height uh, and it'll just automatically fill it. Uh, so that looks a lot better. And then you can just adjust it right here as well. And then maybe put that somewhere visible. And then of course you can, if it's if it's clipping to things, just right click and go into uh, transforming in. Um, you do have rewards. So you can manage reward requests. Uh, this you can keep up another the window, you, but I, <laughs> I don't. When I see it, I do it, but I don't ever mark it as complete. It's just a lot to keep up with. Uh, however, the big streamers, their chat moves by so fast that uh, they have to keep these uh, separated. Um, and this would could just be another window that you have up on your other monitor. I think this is an affiliate thing, so I don't know if I'll go too much into this. Uh, this is just your in thing channel points and this is customizable uh this is what you see in the bottom left of the chat every, in everyone's streams and then you could also manage the rewards create your own rewards etc if you don't have access to this because you're not affiliate technically uh stream elements there they have a loyalty system and they're bought so you can still actually have your own loyalties uh for watch time you can uh, do your loyalty settings like how much they get and i think that's about it as for just getting you started in streaming i think that is plenty of information to make it look pretty decent so with that i hope you guys are able to get started streaming and as always thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys guys next time.